Good morning! I am at Langset Reservoir today and I thought I would bring you along with me because it's been quite a while since I've been out for a walk with you. So I thought I would show you around a little bit of this part of the world which is the South Yorkshire side of the Peak District and there is a beautiful reservoir in the centre of this walk that I'm doing. It's one of my favourite ones actually and it's not too far from where I live so it's right on my doorstep and it is a beautiful sunny day at the moment. I think there's clouds planned and it's very cold. It's about two degrees Celsius today, but it is a perfect morning for a hike. I've just been climbing up onto the moorland and you can now see the reservoir over there just coming into view. There's a point you get to when you've walked up onto the moorland with a sign where you can go left which takes you alongside the reservoir and on your way back or straight that way and that just takes you completely into the moorlands. It's always so quiet, there's hardly ever any people and it makes the walk a lot longer than it can be so I'm going to choose the long route today because it is just the perfect weather. And now it is second breakfast time. <laughs> I brought a banana with me today as well as some of the snacks that I made yesterday. Oh it is so nice out here today. I think there's a fire up here though let me show you it's on the moors. Sometimes they do controlled ones so it's probably just one of those. It's been quite frosty here recently and all these rocks will have been frozen this morning but now all you can see these little water droplets from where the sun started to melt all the ice and the frost.
behind me here are what are known as the North America farm ruins and it was a farm that was built when the reservoirs were built I believe which would have been back I think it completed in 1902 so they've been here quite a while these ruins and they were very popular for grouse shooting on the moors here which used to be a large source of income and the money from this shooting and these old Victorian pastimes went back to preserving the moors which was good because they are just vast pockets of carbon out here I think there's about 16 to 20 million tons of it and obviously that helps pace global warming It's usually a lot quieter around here but I think the sunshine has brought quite a lot of hikers out today and cyclists. I have got the reservoir behind me now so it's Langset Reservoir and this supplies the water for the Sheffield and Barnsley area. It has got the capacity of holding 1,400 million gallons so it is a huge huge reservoir and it has got one of the Earth's largest embankments as well in the UK and it is gorgeous I love it around here because what you've got is you've got the woodlands so you've got Langset woods but you've got all the moors and all the different types of birds such as tree creepers owls all the grouse out here and it is just a beautiful place to walk around it's got easy access for car parking as well I believe there's a visitor center which is one of the oldest buildings in the area but I just find it so relaxing walking around here and you can head off into the moors as long as you want. I didn't do too much today, I just went a couple of miles in and then came back on myself. So I'm now on the route that goes around the reservoir itself. But I've just stopped to have a little bit of a snack because I'm getting quite hungry already, it's nearly lunch time. And I brought these little things, I'll show you actually, I'll get one out. So this is it, this is my lunch snack and I made these yesterday, they are so simple to make, all it is is rolled oats mixed in with some chia seeds and some mushed up bananas and cinnamon flavouring and then all I did was make a little hole in the top, put some jam in, bake them for about 15 minutes in the oven and then put some peanut butter over the top so you can't really go wrong, it's extremely healthy but also delicious as well.
<laughs> I might finish this story in a minute. And I'm also getting a lot of smoke from over here from the fire that's been happening on the moors today. much less windy on this side. Where was I? I was telling you about the Dambuster Squadron. So they practiced on this reservoir, they practiced their bombing and they also erected all these steel towers with chains and smoke screen installations. They brought in, I think it was plenty of weapons as well, lots of guns that were managed by over 5,000 troops in the area. So you can imagine it was a hype of activity back in World War II. The moors around here also were used to practice for the D-Day landings and I think they used to bring all kinds of tanks in from the train station areas around here. I think you can still see some of the, the concrete slabs out here as well in certain areas. It is quite a fascinating little area really, considering it's in the middle of the Peak District. Well, you don't think much happens here, but it is still a beautiful day. I'm sure it's getting colder though, <laughs> but there's plenty of little birds around and I think the only animal I've seen apart from sheep is a cat, but it has been extremely peaceful. I'm walking through a little woodland area now and it's not too much far to go until I get back to the car, which is a shame. I feel like I could be out here longer, but the sun starts setting today, I think around about four o'clock. I don't really want to be out here in the dark today. not too far away from the car now and I hope you've enjoyed coming along on this hike around Langset with me. I love getting outdoors every day. I either go out for a run or a hike every morning but usually only for an hour or so. So it has been extremely nice today getting out and about for a good stomp around. I've probably done about 10 miles or so so it's just enough to be out and about and get all that fresh air in your lungs. So I really hope you have enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye!